Dear Mr. Karaman, Chairman of the Great National Assembly of Turkey, dear Mr. Ruchi, the PAPSEC Chairman, dear Mr. Hajiev, the Secretary General of PAPSEC, dear colleagues, speakers of the Parliament, ladies and gentlemen, allow me first and foremost to express our gratitude to our Turkish friends for their great hospitality extended to participants of this anniversary meeting and to congratulate them for the excellent organization of today's event in the beautiful city of Istanbul. On behalf of the Moldovan parliamentary delegation, I'm pleased to share some thoughts with you concerning the current environment after 25 years and the future prospects of PAPSEC at this anniversary hour. It is noteworthy that the Black Sea Economic Cooperation launched in the early 90s is as young or as old as the independence of many BSEC members. After 25 years, BSEC was one of the few initiatives in the post-Soviet period that succeeded to seize the moment and to unite the freshly declared independent states of the entire Black Sea region under a common regional roof with the purpose of promoting mutually beneficial results. But promoting common interests in such a diverse region, which at that time had just emerged from a state control system, was not possible without including the national legislators in this complex process. Only with the support of the parliaments that secured the legal basis for economic, commercial, social and political cooperation among the member countries, it was possible for the BSEC to become a reliable, proactive and constructive actor in the region. Effective cooperation between and among the national parliaments of the PAPSEC constitutes a powerful means of increasing the effectiveness of the assembly. In this context, I would like to evoke the decision from February 1993 taken in Istanbul by the speakers of the parliaments of nine countries at that time that set the basis for the future cooperation for the years to follow. Looking from today's perspective, I would say that it has never been easier to make joint commitments for Black Sea states with different political, economic, social characteristics to preserve the spirit that brought us together. Of course, Time has changed since 93, and we all had to adapt the new demanding developments. As we all know, our wider region faces today unique issues like political and economic uncertainty, terrorism, and tension among the states, frozen and more recent active confrontations. The local conflicts in the larger Black Sea region are a serious source of regional instability due to their negative impact on internal growth and to their ability to make possible for external powers to intervene and become part of the confrontation. This is why 25th anniversary of PAPSEC is a moment when we acknowledge that the state building is accompanied by the profound challenges. The political, social and economic costs of the separate conflicts in Moldova, Georgia and Ukraine have seriously aggravated the inherent difficulties of these transition decades. It is a good moment to say that we have no other option that regardless where we want to see our countries in terms of political development and unions we want to join, it is absolutely indispensable that we interact more, cooperate more, do mutually beneficial business and discover new opportunities that this region has to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, the wider Black Sea region is acquiring greater significance in today's rapidly changing world. The region is becoming increasingly important to Europe, the United States and other major powers as the key transit area for energy supply and not only. This is why PAPSEC parliaments have a special role in strengthening the legislative framework for economic growth and social integration, development of new and renewable sources of energy, as well as ensuring peace and security in the Black Sea region. The priority areas for the Republic of Moldova's cooperation with the BSEC and PAPSEC are well defined in the regional programs and initiatives mainly related to opening the market, trade, transportation, energy, environment, tourism, education, science, and technology. And to bring some figures to my statement, only in 2017, from the total amount of the trade, the Republic of Moldova reached almost 47% with the BSEC countries. That is a good trend, but there is still room for improvement. We are very interested in strengthening the direct cooperation with the business environment in order to adequately respond to the need of the regional challenges and to offer the private sector commercial opportunities in the Black Sea region. 
We also support very much the idea of joint database of potential investors and exporters in the BCEC countries for facilitating data information exchange and attraction of the investments, as well as more common initiatives for small and medium enterprises. Promoting interaction between the business communities of the member states and facilitating public-private partnerships is another Moldovan key priority in the Black Sea region. Dear colleagues, my country, Moldova, is working hard to promote democracy and an efficient market economy. Along with Georgia and Ukraine, Moldova has signed the association agreement with the European Union, including the deep and comprehensive free trade agreement. We reconfirm that our country's political and economic future lies with European integration. Thus, European agenda is reinforced as an internal roadmap for reforms. But we will also conclude that free trade agreements with many important economic players, I would like to say at the 25th anniversary of the establishment of the Assembly that BSEC member states have the unique opportunity to maximize the economic potential of the region. The regional framework of PAPSEC responds to our need for political interparliamentary dialogue based on economic interests. Therefore, we value this platform which brings together actors belonging to different economies and trade areas. We wish that our efforts contribute in restoring the Black Sea region as an area of peace, cooperation and development. Thank you for your attention.